What is up you guys, my name is Keith and welcome back to another video. Today guys, we're going to be in LSPDFR and today we're doing something way different than I've ever done before. This isn't going to be a patrol, this is going to be a, a little bit of a learning curve for you guys. I'm going to be teaching you guys some of the 10 codes and uh, just explaining to you guys how to perform a professional traffic stop, uh, whether it's in real life or in a uh, video game like this. So first things uh, first, we are in the New York State Police today. This is the last time I'm going to be using this pack for a little while. We are going to be switching it out into something different. We're going to be doing the New Jersey Police next time, so that'll be amazingly fun. But we're in a Ford Explorer today. We're in Blaine County, Sandy Shores to be specific. Um, and if you guys are excited to uh, learn the codes and, and learn what I'm talking about, and, and if you're excited for some police talk and, and just on how to perform a professional traffic stop, and what to do on a traffic stop and what you should do if you get pulled over by a police officer then hey make sure to leave a like on the video hit that subscribe button guys and uh, go check out my entire playlist of lsp 4 down below over 182 episodes now strong let's get on out there first of all we got to be uh we got to go 10-8 what does 10-8 mean 10-8 means we are in service and we are ready to go so let's get in the ford explorer today and let's do the very first thing that i always do when i go on patrol is i always say either signal 41 or i say I am 1041 10 8 or you can just say you're 10 8 10 8 basically means you are in service you're on patrol you're ready to go 1041 or signal 41 same same thing it means that's the start of your shift the start of your patrol 1042 is the end of your patrol okay so we're gonna be 1041 10 8 that's what you would say to dispatch and uh, we're gonna start our patrol here and uh, we'll see if we can catch anybody doing any you know traffic violations any speeding anything of that nature and I will uh, tell you guys uh, well I will explain my best to, to my best knowledge how I perform traffic stops how I do things in the game and um, we'll go from there okay so we just got this guy right here he's kind of weaving in and out of the lanes there he came across the yellow for a second almost and he's just weaving in this dune buggy so Basically, what you want to do is you want to get behind him, you want to follow him, you don't want to throw your lights on right away or anything like that. First of all, you need to look for a safe place to pull the vehicle over. So, right up here looks to be good. We're going to blip him here, and right up here, we are going to initiate our lights. And we're going to put the siren a little bit so we can get his attention, and he's going to pull off to the right-hand side of the road. Preferably, the right-hand side would be amazing at all times. We're going to get him off the road a little bit more because he's not to the side fully. So we're going to tell him to move his vehicle off to the side of the road more. Right there is going to be good. Now what we're going to do is I always pull up my vehicle about a car length behind the suspect or the subject or the car in front of me or whatever it is. And I always have a little bit of angle on the car like so. It doesn't have to be crazy. Some officers angle their car like, like insane. I usually angle it just a little bit so I'm still off to the side. I like to keep myself a little bit further back from the vehicle because I don't want to be right on top of it in case, you know, he shoots at me or, or gets out of his car or whatever the case is. Or if I get rear-ended, I don't want my car to be slammed into his. So I like to keep at least a vehicle length or a vehicle length and a half behind the, the suspect's vehicle. Second thing I do is we have to call this in to dispatch, obviously. Now, some officers do this before they even get the vehicle stopped, and then they just hop out the car and go talk to them. I'm not going to do it that way today. I usually stop the vehicle completely first. As you can see, he does have a plate on that. This is the interior of the car, by the way. Looks absolutely fantastic. So what, what I normally would say is, I'm going to say what I normally would say, and then I'll run it down for you guys. King 5-2 dispatch going to be on a 1011 West East Joshua Road with a dune buggy style vehicle. San Andreas plate. What is the plate on this son of a bitch? <laughs> We're going to check it this way because I can't see it. 24 Frank Ocean Charles 275 on a BF injection. Target vehicle license plate. 24 Frank Ocean Charles 275. A traffic violation. A warrant issued. A traffic violation. Proceed with caution. 10 4 dispatch. So he has flags coming back for no registration and he has a warrant as well. So that's not good. Now, basically, I'm going to give you guys a whole rundown of what I just said. Now, here's the thing a 10 11 is a traffic stop. So you can just say, dispatch him on a traffic stop, this street, blah, blah, blah. Give them a short, brief description of the vehicle you're pulling over, color, uh, if it's occupied times one or two, how many subjects are in the vehicle. Um, and then I say 10-11, that's a traffic stop, okay? 
The next thing I do is I'm going to call in the plate, which is 1028. That's what I say a lot. Uh, I'm going to call in the 1028, and then I say the plate off. Now, when I'm calling in a plate, I say 1028. Can I get a 1028 on this plate? Blah, 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 right? Uh, I also use the phonetic alphabet, so when it says B-A-C, it's bravo or boy or whatever phonetic alphabet you're doing you don't have to go crazy and memorize all that but i've been playing lspdfr so much that i just memorized the lspdfr phonetics so there's that um when i'm running somebody's driver's license that's called a 1027 and sometimes you'll see hear officers say can i get a 2729 on blah 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 uh the the, the the 1029 is checking for warrants, see if they have any, like, if they're wanted for anything like that. And the 1027 is just running their driver's license to make sure they're not expired or suspended or, or anything like that. Once we have all that information, we would usually get out of the car, so I'm going to get out right now. I always walk around to the rear of my vehicle so I don't get hit, and I usually approach on the passenger side just because of traffic. Depends what, you know, traffic conditions are, but most of the time I like to approach on the passenger side. Hello ma'am, Officer Richner with the New York Police Department. Reason for the stop is you kind of swerved into my lane a little bit back there. You couldn't really maintain your lane. You have identification, proof of insurance, and registration on you, ma'am. That's three things you always ask when you ask for somebody's license. You ask for a, or when you're on a traffic stop, you ask for their license, you ask for their insurance, and you ask for the registration. And you also want to identify yourself as the officer, uh, what division you're a part of, all that good stuff, and the reason for the stop. So we're gonna go run their information now. So let's hop into the police computer here. We're gonna go PED database, and we are gonna run her information. Now her 27 is expired, her license is expired, and she's wanted for battery on a peace officer. That is not good. And she does have four prior arrest charges for brandishing a firearm, which is a felony. So this is a little bit tricky here. Now, this is a little bit different of what I wanted to show you guys. This is a little bit more advanced. Uh, we are going to call for some backup out here. Now, I am going to tell you guys what we're doing. We're going to call in for a felony. Now, this is going to be what's called a Code 5 stop, where we're going to get some backup units out here, which are 1032s, uh, 1020 is your location so which would be east joshua road and we're going to wait for our backup units before we get out of the vehicle uh, what a code five stop is is when you have an, an officer behind the vehicle and then on the side to the left of my vehicle there and that way we can both get out and have guns drawn on the vehicle here's the sandy shores unit coming up right here so we're going to keep the door open so we have some cover we're going to get our gun out we're going to wait for this unit to get ready we're going to issue her out of the vehicle Hi, ma'am. Out of the vehicle. You have a warrant for your arrest. Hands up, ma'am. Come back to the sound of my voice. Nice and slow. Don't make any sudden movements. All the way back. On your knees, please. Hands above your head. On your knees. You might as well get up. You're surrounded. Alright, we're gonna move up. They can get the arrest. I got you covered, man. I got you covered. What the hell? Right, they're going in for the arrest now, and we have one subject, 1015. Now, 1015 basically means you have them in custody. That guy's flying like an idiot. That's how we do things around here. There you go. That's how we do things around here. Yep, that is how we do it. Hi, right, ma'am. You know you have that warrant for your arrest, right? That's the reason we're getting you out of the vehicle today, um, and that's the reason you're in cuffs right now. So we had her information. I'll make sure you get that back, okay, ma'am? You got anything in the vehicle I should know about? Any guns, knives drugs, anything like that. Do you mind if I have a search real quick? Okay, thank you, ma'am. Okay, so we're going to search the vehicle now. Attention unit one King 5 2 Dispatch, we have we this have situation, code 4. In Sandy Shore. Code 4 means the situation has resolved sale. itself. She didn't even have a tire. Look at that. That was ridiculous. Yeah, I, I just wanted to tell you guys, like, about, like, traffic stops, and then we ended up finding somebody that had a warrant for their arrest, so that's, that's something that's never, never good here. We're gonna tell these officers to go 10-8 so they can go back on duty, and they can clear off of this call because we don't really need them anymore. Crazy stuff, man. You guys can go back 10-8. Thank you so much for the assistance. 
But yes, 1032 means backup. So if I want a backup unit, you say 1032. Or you can just say I need a 32. Alright, I'm gonna search you, ma'am. You got anything on your person that's gonna poke me, stick me? Anything illegal? Wire cutters, a pocket knife, and shave keys. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Come back to the to the uh, Ford Explorer over here. We'll get her in the back of the vehicle as well. Um, I don't know if she's gonna get in. Sometimes it's tricky if another officer arrests her. She might not get in. But we are gonna call for a PT, which is a prisoner transport unit. Required and they can come out and pick her up. Under and then um, in, we'll have this situation uh, code forward and we'll be 10 Back out on patrol again. So guys, just as a little bit of a recap here, we are going to tow the vehicle as well. But a little bit of a recap. Basically what we did was we came up on scene. We saw the vehicle. It was driving a little bit erratic. We pulled her over. We called into dispatch. We told them the make of the vehicle, the plate, the description, a little bit of the vehicle, just in case it took off from us. Uh, another thing you would want to do when you walk up to the vehicle is pr place your left or right hand on the back of it just to get uh, fingerprints from yourself on that vehicle. So that way if they do end up taking off from you, you have your fingerprints that's saying that you were there and they were there at that time of the stop in case things go bad. That way you have for forensics evidence at that scene. But the tow truck is right down the road. She's going to be going to jail tonight for that warrant. She's got to get that thing taken care of. It's a little bit of a shorter episode, guys. It was more of a little bit of a tutorial, but I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. I hope you I hope you really did, and I hope you learned something new. Uh, if you have any questions down below, uh, make sure to let them know. Let me know in the comments. Uh, keep in mind, though, guys, the 10 codes do change a little bit um, from, you know, county to county, division to division, state to state. So some of the codes might be a little bit different compared to what your officers use in your area. Uh, to compare to what I know from my knowledge. Um, so yes, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and go check out my playlist of lsp far down below as well. I have the whole 182 episodes down there, so go check them out, guys. I also have an LC PDFR playlist, so go check that as well. Or go check that out as well. English, there it is. If you want to go check out some GTA 4 content. But that's going to wrap it up, guys. Hopefully you learned how to do a professional stop. And uh, also, you know, just a little little word of advice. If you are getting pulled over by the police, make sure, you know, keep your hands on the steering wheel. Don't move around a lot. Don't fidget. Uh, if you're a conceal and carry holder, make sure to announce that to the officer right away and tell them where the weapon is located so they feel a little bit more comfortable. And don't uh, don't be alarmed if they do decide to ask you to step out and dis, dis, you know they disarm you until the stop is over. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.